Hi everyone and welcome along. Today we're going to have a go at simple citrus fruit in segments and slices and put them together in a really nice pattern on the page. So grab your paints and let's get started. Right, so let's paint some citrus fruit. I'm going to paint with my size two brush and I'm gonna begin with an orange slice. So I've got cadmium orange here and I've got it sort of uh, nicely sort of wetted and it's fairly dilute and I'm going to begin by painting a half slice so I'm going to paint a semicircle of fairly dilute colour and then I'm going to clean off my brush and paint a sort of line of water across which is going to be very hard to even see and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use this sort of orange line which looks like it should be the rind but actually it's going to become the sort of colour for the segment. So what I'm doing is with a wet brush I'm just drawing the colour down in into a central point and I'm doing four segments and I'm using the unpainted space on the page and the very pale orange paint to start with my segment and then I'm going to mix up a much more concentrated version all the while allowing this just to seep into the page just a little bit and then I am going to paint a new outline but I think especially if you're new to this it might be sensible to paint it with a smaller brush so here I have a three tenths brush and I am going to paint a sort of rind on the outside that is going to sort of touch in places, not in others. And that is how I like to paint my segments. And I like to do a little bit from the center to just spread out to the edges. So we're going to do a little pattern I'm going to first fill up my page with a few segments of different types of fruit. So we've got an orange. Let's do a lime. Now I've got Hooker's Green down here, which is a really zesty, fantastic colour, um, which when once diluted will be really cool. So we're going to do the same technique again. And I'm just going to find a new place. So semicircle in a wet fairly dilute concentration, then clean off the brush, brush it down across the bottom, and then if you want, if you want, you could sort of start from the middle, just to make sure your segments are even, and you could put in your lines like that. And then, working fairly quickly, I just want to, using a wet brush, drag the colour down in. Just go back and forth into the centre, almost sort of looping it, making sure you capture the colour from the edge and draw it down in. Then we let that dry just a little bit and we add the more concentrated rind. So I'm going to fill up the page with a few more of these segments. I always start with the um, half sections before doing a full one just because I think they are a little bit challenging to sort of get your head round. So now I've left spaces to do some full slices of the citrus fruits. So it's the same idea, I just have to work a little bit faster to make sure that we keep that lovely blend. So just keep going back into your water jar and making sure you've got a central point in your slice and just looping out to the edge, pick up a little bit of color from that circle you painted and you'll just see it very gradually coming in and then a little bit just in the center to 
help define it. And if you want to just go back in, give it a little bit of a helping hand. And then we'll add an extra rind around the edge. So I'm going to pop in a few sort of varying sizes of circles I think will be fun. So I can pop in a sort of fairly small one here. And if your circle goes a little bit wonky, don't worry about it. You can always just even it up. Find your central point and just work your way in. And when you do your sort of rind on the outside, the peel, you will be able to sort of even up that shape. I'm just finishing off this last one down here, painting a, a sort of more concentrated rind around the edge and we want little elements to bleed in and blend and other bits to leave a nice little bit of unpainted space. And now we've got this really awkward kind of, we've got some large shapes, we've got some smaller and I really want to get a sort of tight fit on this page. So what we're going to do for the smallest sections is we are going to paint in um, little tiny segments that fit beautifully in the gaps. So we want to paint two sides of a triangle and then, well I guess we're painting like a slice of pizza aren't we? So I'm going to do my looping in the colour from the top and the bottom, dropping in a little bit more colour towards that end and then getting a nice bit of concentrated colour for the top which is just going to touch in various places but not all. That's probably my favourite type of segment to do is a nice little a nice little sort of pizza slice one. So yeah, so I'm just going to now fill up the rest of the page with these little triangular segments. So curve one end of the triangle, clean the brush off nice and wet, and then we're looping the colour from top to bottom with the water and trying to work nice and fast so that we don't get too many sort of dried lines. The yellow is a bit trickier to sort of achieve that with but it's not impossible. So we filled up the page with lots of segments and you can see you can just find a segment for each shape but also there may come times where a another sort of half piece might work really nicely and um, even though you're just using three colours it's actually still very doable to sort of have a nice variety going around. And these are such simple little segment shapes and it's a technique that anyone can do, I think any age. I've recently been doing some painting with my four-year-old niece and she's been really like getting the whole idea of watercolour and I think something like this would be really perfect for her or anyone kind of of a, of a young age, um, as well as anyone sort of who is just starting out and wanting to have a go. It's a very, very satisfying process. So just remember we're starting with a nice loose and very dilute amount of colour. Then dropping in a little bit more concentrate at the base and then that citrus peel which we want to sort of half blend and half just sit and do its own thing and get that little bit of unpainted space and then I'm going to put in the tiniest segment just to finish this off
So we've done three colours to create oranges, lemons and limes. And again, you'll see that this pattern works any way you look at it because we've just made sure that we've kept things moving and on different angles. So enjoy this simple citrus watercolour pattern. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed that one. I want to say a big thank you to my patrons for their support because that support enables me to keep creating these videos that everyone can enjoy. And if you enjoyed it, then hit the like button and comment below to let me know how you're getting on. And of course, if you subscribe, then you will never miss another video. Until next time, bye.